Okay guys, I'm with you in a, another uh, flight today. I'm in the F-15EX doing a performance showcase video for my guys in the 122nd Fighter Squadron. Um, we did a video on the F-15C to time it, to time the aircraft to see how quickly it got from takeoff or the departure end of the runway up to 40,000 feet and above uh, Mach 1. So we're going to do the same thing with the EX. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it and get some good information out of it. The F-15C was a, a beast. Um, so we'll see what type of performance we get out of the EX. It's also been a beast as well. Alright, we're getting lined up for takeoff. Give me one moment. Alright, let's hit the throttle. Alright, lined up good. Rotate speed, slowly pulling back on the stick, one degrees nose up, gear up, flap up, both are up, flaps up, the uh, EX has a bug where it doesn't show the gear, alright, and start at time now, we'll just maintain, just like we did with the F-15C video, we'll maintain Mach 0.9 uh, level and then we'll start our climb and we'll use the airspeed. Um, as a baseline to adjust the attitude of the aircraft to keep both a good rate of speed and a good uh, rate of climb in. Uh, we've got a standard loadout for the F-15 EX today. I've got on. All right, let's start coming up. Oh man, that's pretty. Uh, I've got a standard loadout, two bags of gas. Um, for the EX, I'll usually fly with eight AIM-120Ds, four AIM-120C7s, two AIM-260s, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, again, this is our standard weapon loadout. We could have gone slick, but we never fly slick, so I think I mentioned that in the last video. We're going to get the performance out of the aircraft where we usually have on it and how we usually fight and deploy with the aircraft as our baseline. Okay, so we're coming up on a minute 30 now, just passing uh, 20,000 feet. It's not accelerating as quickly as the C model. Let's get a quick, uh, quick another shot here in a second. is beautiful loaded up with missiles but um, yeah, it's not accelerating as quickly as the C model but I mean it's heavier and it's carrying almost double the amount of missiles that the uh, C is carrying more gas as well so okay two minutes is past 30,000 feet we're gonna slowly start adjusting the attitude to come down if you notice on the, the bottom left my uh, airspeed has been pretty constant at Mach 0.935 it should be reducing and getting slower um, as we get higher up. Okay, 36,000. Pushing the, we're coming up on the altitude. Our airspeed's a little off. We want to get that in line. So let's go ahead and keep pushing the nose down very slowly. Okay, here comes our airspeed. Now it's starting to go up. Just past 39,000 feet. We're looking good. And that airspeed should go from Mach 0.95 to Mach 1 in no time. All right, 39,500. feet okay there's 40,000 and here is 
Mach 1 now. All right, so we went from the departure end to 40,000 feet of Mach 1 in 3 minutes and 40 seconds, which is, in my opinion, uh, excellent performance. You're not going to find that out of too many of the other aircraft in DCS. Um, not as good as the F-15C. I believe the F-15C got maybe 2 minutes and 45 seconds, so about, I don't know, 55 seconds quicker. But uh, we're splitting hairs at, that po at this point. With that said, I hope this video helps. You guys can now have a baseline understanding of how the EX performs with a full loadout. Uh, it's got a lot of fuel in the tanks. And uh, appreciate you guys sticking around. I'll see you for the next one.